Are you currently pregnant and have been told by a doctor that you have hyperthyroidism? Unsure what is it? Wondering if you are suffering from gestational transient tyrotoxicosis or Graves' disease instead? Welcome to another episode of Doctor Says and let me clear your doubt today. First up, just a brief intro on how your thyroid gland functions differently when you are pregnant. During early pregnancy, a hormone called human coronic gonadotropin or HCG is secreted by the placenta. This is the same hormone that is responsible for the positive urine pregnancy test you all do it at home. This HCG will stimulate the thyroid receptor in your thyroid gland and cause your thyroid to produce hormone known as T4 and T3. And when T4 and T3 are raised, TSH also known as thyroid stimulating hormone will decrease. This HCG usually peaks around 10 to 12 weeks of pregnancy. In some women, they may have a higher serum concentration of HCG during early pregnancy and can lead to a higher levels of free T4 concentration. And this condition is known as gestational transient tyrotoxicosis. As the name suggests, it is usually transient and occurs in the first trimester and resolved by the second trimester. Generally, some women may not even feel any symptoms at all, but some may develop symptoms known as hyperemesis gravidarum. Hyperemesis gravidarum is a syndrome of nausea and vomiting associated with a weight loss of 5% or more during early pregnancy. It happens to 0.1 to 0.2% of all pregnancies. Women who develop this syndrome have higher HCG levels, higher T4 levels, and a low TSH levels. In severe cases, one may develop signs and symptoms of hyperthyroidism like tremor, heat intolerance, weight loss, and rapid heart rate known as palpitations. Gestational tyrotoxicosis is usually self-limiting. For those who have a severe vomiting, intravenous fluids and antiemetics will help. A low-dose beta blocker can also be used in patients who have tremors or palpitations. Blood T4 levels usually return to normal levels by the second trimester. Therefore, antithyroid drugs is not recommended for gestational tyrotoxicosis. But beware, because another very common cause of hyperthyroidism during pregnancy is Graves' disease. And Graves' disease is more serious and will require special treatment as compared to gestational tyrotoxicosis. If you haven't watched my previous video regarding Graves already, you need to watch it, link in the top right corner. Here is a quick and easy way to differentiate between Graves and gestational tyrotoxicosis. First, goiter is common in Graves and not in the latter. Second, trap antibody is positive in Graves and not usually found in gestational tyrotoxicosis. Graves also have the classical signs of Graves ophthalmopathy, which is not seen in gestational tyrotoxicosis. Not to mention, Graves are also hereditary, which means most likely there is someone in your family who suffers from the same disease. Last but not least, Graves is also associated with other autoimmune diseases like diabetes or systemic lupus erythematosus while gestational tyrotoxicosis is a standalone disease. Because hyperthyroidism is so common during pregnancy, the right diagnosis is paramount as Graves' disease will require treatment, while gestational tyrotoxicosis does not. And the effect on your baby if Graves are left untreated during pregnancy is, well, very bad. So there you have it guys, now that you know the differences between these two diseases, do me a favour and share this knowledge with all the pregnant mothers out there. Hope you learned something today and don't forget to smash the like button, share and subscribe.